primary key, then the what is the attribute description? So this is the first superclass. So for the subclass, so we can create the one per subclass. So it's the manufacturer type. <coughs> so in this case, what is the primary key of the manufactured part? Part number. So part number is inherited from superclass. So we have the part number. And all the attribute belongs to that subclass. That is the uh, drawing number plus the batch number plus the last one is the manufacturer date and date. Similarly, we can create the project part. The primary key of the project part is also part number. This is the primary key and the supplier name plus the list price. One more thing, don't forget, this time we can create the green key to keep the consistency of the part number data. Okay, so that's the first option. Second option? If we focus on subclasses, okay, so we can create the one relation or table per one subclass only. So, which means we are going to create the manufactured part. This time, we need to inherit not only the primary key, but all the attributes, because we are not going to create the part. Okay, so part number is the primary key and the description plus the drawing number plus the batch number plus manufacturer date. Similarly, we can create the purchase part. So we can create the primary key part number ESC because the, we are not going to create the table for the part so inherit the, all of that plus the supplier name plus the list price question do we need to create any foreign key here no we cannot their part number is different from the uh, their part number it's just separated so, this is the third option. Uh, the second option, third option. We are going to focus on entity only. Okay? How many entity? One entity. We are going to create a part. So, we create a one pupil. Another pupil. One relation. One table. So, that is a part. So, in case we create a part, so there are two different options. So in this case, this is the overlap. Overlap means, so for example, if I create, so part number is definitely the primary key and the DSC description plus all attributes. However, if this is the overlap, Overlap means it can be manufactured part and the purchased part. So we cannot create the, like the part type. Should be either of them. Okay? So this time we can create whether this is the manufactured part. Yes or no? Okay? This is a boolean. Then add drawing number and batch number manufactured the date plus whether this is a project part or not okay then add supplier name and list price for example if we had the part number one 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 so Description is this is the tire. Okay? Manufactured, yes or no? Yes. And 
information about something and batch number and the date, like the January 1st, 2000. And part, uh, the purchase part, yes. And the supply, supplier name, Lee, and this price is uh, 100. So we can do this one. If in that case, <coughs> yes, that is only the administrator <coughs> part, this will be no, and this will be no, and no, and so on. Okay? However, there's maybe another option in case that is the disjoint. In case of disjoint, it should be either of them. Okay? So at that time, even in this case, it's not possible option four, but in case that is the disjoint, so we can select the one relation, one table, same thing, part, we can create one table, part, number, okay, DSC, and part, type. Using part type, we can add drawing number, edge number, the date, and supplier name, and list price. So in case, for example, 111 tire, then this is a manufactured part, then the, put the input of this. The other will be none. In case of the project part, this is a not, 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 and <coughs> you can put the data. So there are four options. You can select one of them. For each suit part and subclass relationship, you can select one of them for each suit part and subclass. So in your project, so you can intentionally. Sometimes your the ER, your requirement does not have the such a thing, but intentionally. Okay, for your practice, you can create the super and sub classes at the customer, different types of customer, intentionally create and practice as to select one of the options to convert the relational schema diagram. So, and also, this time, the, we will see the very interesting the example of, the, of that. Like this one. So, <coughs> this is an example of the person, okay, in the universe database. You can see employee, alumni, student, and so on. Question How many entities? Uh, first, whether this is an ER diagram or ER diagram? It's an ER. ER. Because we have the a lot of the super and sub classes relationship. Then how many entity can you find here? One. one. It's just the one, whether or not you believe there is a person. Then we have a lot of subclasses of subclass. Okay? That is a hierarchy. Okay? Then and also it has a multiple inheritance, which means it's a letter source of but it's not a big idea to recognize that because relational database uh, does not care the type of such a tree structure, but you need to understand this is one of them. Then we are going to convert this one to the relational schema diagram. Then, how many set, how many set of super and subclasses relationship here? How many set? For example, person with Employee, alumnus, student. This is one super and sub classes. One. Then how many? One. Two. Three. Four. Whatever. <laughs> so let's see. This is one. An employee and staff, faculty, student, assistant. This is another one. Two. This is not the super and sub classes relationship. Instead, this is a multi-valued one. This will be separate the table according to the step that we did. Step seven, probably. Okay, then one, two. What about this student and student assistant? This is also super and subclasses. How many subclass? One subclass. 
and this one is multiple inheritance from eventually from person including salary and uh, this one student assistant that makes sense student assistant or the RA the G the student as well as the the and employee also so one two three four this is another one four and five so we have total five super and subclasses so, which means for each case, we need to select one of these. Okay, as we discussed last time, there's no general solution. Which one is better? You need to decide. Okay, sometimes decide one. One of these based on application and also your data and your knowledge. So, using that, we can decide one of them. One of the examples is this one. Then, question again. Why don't you keep in mind, screenshot, and uh, save in your mind. Do this. Okay, from here, what is the top? Person, employee, alumnus, student. This. Which option is selected in this conversion? One of these. Option one, option two, option three, option four. Person, employee, alumnus, and the student. Which one is selected? Two, I think two. Which one? Go back. Only focus on this. Which one is selected two. in this conversion? Mm -hmm. So, option one, option two, option three, option one. four. One. Option? One. 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 Option one is for each, for each person, employee, alumnus, student. We create the table. Person table, employee table, alumnus table, student table. Okay? Then alumnus degree is actually from the multi value. So step seven. So option one is selected with what? Foreign key. SSN? SSN? There might be this. So SSN should be another the, uh, foreign key. Can you understand the selecting option of the Converting super and subclass. One more question. Actually, four more. <laughs> Focusing on the employed, staff, faculty, student, assistant. We have the super and subclass here. For this super and subclasses relationship, which option is selected in this ER's either relational schema diagram? Which one? Hint. It should be either option three or four. Why? Option one is for all table, all class. Option two, all subclasses. However, if you take a look, look at the, this one, is there any step table? No. Is there any the faculty table? No. Which means it has only employee table, which means we select either this one or this one. And from these two, which option is selected? First option. First option, the so option three. Option four. four. You can take a look at whether you allow overlap or disjoint case. Okay, whether category or type or yes or no. Take a look at the staff, faculty, student assistant. Employee type. This is the type. Which one is the type? This one is the time. Okay? This one is yes or no. In, if you select this one for commercial, it should be like the step yes or no. Then attribute. Faculty yes or no attribute. And so on. Okay, then next. What about this? Student and student assistant. The which one is selected? Obviously, option one and option two is not, right? Because we cannot find the student assistant here. So, which one, which option is selected? Where is the student? So, you can take a look at the attribute. It's a percent time, okay? Percent time and percent time is here. Then, 
We cannot say option three and four. Why? We have only one subclass. So it doesn't matter whether option three, option four. Okay? Because we have one subclass. So it, it can be, we don't have, so for one type, we don't have to mention about the type because we have only one type. Okay, well, one, yes or no. Okay, then. What about the, this? Graduate student, undergraduate student. Graduate student, undergraduate student. Where is the student here? Which option is selected? It's a flag. Obviously, this is not, right? Because it's in the one student. <coughs> it's a flag. Flag means yes or no, Boolean. So third is selected. And last one, student assistant and research assistant or teaching assistant. <coughs> so third option is selected. Okay. So finally, we can have the one of, it can be barriers. The barrier option is your job to decide the based on the requirement. Okay, then the last one is the, what we missed, is the union type. Do you remember union type? In other words, it's a category, like the banking. The owner, the bank, financial, the company, and the owner, like that. So like the, this one. At this time, the two convert, so we can create surrogate key. Why? Because we need the primary key of the owner. However, their superclass, each superclass has different primary key. One option is you can concatenate the driver license number plus bank name plus C name. It can be primary key, but it's not a good choice because even there's no specific meaning by concatenating all three. So instead, we have, have the option to create artificial, so owner ID. So we can create the owner ID, then create the attribute for each and the foreign key. This is the one of, this is the option for union type, the category. So, this is a little bit the top challenging. And this one is uh, not very difficult. So, hold on. By Monday, during the uh, weekend, I know you are so busy, <laughs> but so just a couple of hours. Even doesn't, it will not take a couple of hours, 30 minutes. But this one, you should be careful. You can see the, like the, what is this? It's an identifying relationship, which means primary key of a visit is what? S name plus P name plus start today will be primary key. It's a weak entity. Okay. Then the, this is a primary key. So when you decide, after you decide the primary key, and, and also the port is Identifying relationship. This is identifying relationship. This is not an identifying relationship. So, primary key of port is name, state, country name, plus P name, which means the visit, primary key of the visit is ship name, the country name, port name, plus the start today. That's the primary key. So, at that time, you can create the artificial key, so surrogate key like the visit ID or transaction ID like that. Okay, but still you need to keep the such a the depend the referential integrity. So as a group, and so if you're focusing on the this one, it will be also in this case this is a super and subclass. You don't have to use all the option. Select one of the option. Okay, for this one. Select one of the option, okay? Proper option for the super and subclass, then finally convert. This is a what? Ternary relationship. In case of ternary relationship, what can be the solution? Create sale table, okay? Then, what is the primary key of the sale table? Concatenate all the 
uh, the primary gate V, SID plus SSL will be primary key of cell. That makes sense. When you say something, say transaction, mm -hmm. so you should know the which vehicle is sold by the salesman to whom. So this information will be combined. So this is the <laughs> any yeah. So this is the homework. So I don't solve the two problem. Handwriting only. You don't have to type and draw the diagram. Handwriting and submit. By the way, last uh, class we had the homework, mm -hmm. right? So. Please the submit before you leave, okay? So if you forgot, I will accept the late submission by Monday for last homework. Okay, don't spend the time to do your homework this time, focusing on the lecture. Any question? Yes? We already have this in assignment. Oh, this is in the assignment? Oh, that no, you don't have to. Okay, that's good. I didn't realize that. Uh, this is, if that is in the homework, so please uh, submit to Canvas. You don't have to read. Okay? Then I will assign another homework. The previous slide is not there. Why is this slide is there in the assignment? This not is the, in the assignment? Yeah, then the, it's okay. Yeah. Then the, I will assign the another homework based on the today's lecture. Okay, so this is the end of the chapter 8, 9. Then, Instead of going back to chapter 5, sequel, I'm going to change the order of our lecture to the chapter 8, which is a relational algebra. Come on. So when you, what is the most difficult subject in your high school and middle school usually? For me, it was English. <laughs> so unlike the other educational system, the MI, I'm from South Korea. South Korea still have the nationwide entrance exam to the college. So all student applicant should take the same exam same time, and it's uh, one time. It's not like the SAT in United States. So it's just one time. So if you are sick at that time, unfortunately, you fail. You spend another year. Some of them spend uh, four or five years to get the better grade. Okay, so this is a critical. Among the mostly it's a seven to eight subject, but it was the total the twelve subject at one day. So among them, the, I really usually terrible the English. So I really hate any kind, even the including my mother tongue language, the Korean. So I really hate such a, the language art, the subject. So I, I usually got the. I think the love is a little bit above the faith, the cut line, like the 60% out of 100 for any the language art subject. So we have the uh, Korean, and the first, uh, the foreign language, English, and second foreign language, I selected the Japanese, which is because the only reason is it's quite similar so, and easy to learn, but it was not. So all three, the language art. So, but, so I didn't study. So sometimes uh, my mom still says that it is kind of uh, the uh, God penalty to teach something in English because I didn't study <laughs> the English the, during my the, in my the high school or the middle school. But the, in, however, I really like the subject, the math, because sometimes believe it or not, even the, my the son and daughter they never the, believe. So to heal, healing, for healing purpose, I solved the math problem. Believe it when I, so for example, I purchased a new, the new, uh, the math, the practice book, like the uh, 100 pages. Then the, I solved the, all the problem over the weekend. Then I feel the, very happy. <laughs> so believe it or not. So then, 
Then the, I realized that the, you probably know there are two main types of the mathematics. Okay? It's the same thing in any education, but mostly the student may not realize that. So it's a, one category is algebra. Another one is geometry. Okay, for example, the long time ago. So how many, I think the, in your the social, the social study class, the, you learned about the, there are several the places, well-known places for the human civilization. So I think the India has one, that's the Ganges. Yeah. It's the Ganges. It's one of the civilization, the human civilization. Mm -hmm. Another one is the China. So I forgot the name of the river. So one is uh, anyway the China, right? And also Egypt. Egypt. Mesopotamia. <coughs> so Mesopotamia. Is a, so and there's another one, four, right? I was not good at the social study. <laughs> but so you realize that all of them are nearby the river. Okay, usually the huge river, and also mostly they are the end of the river, just enter the ocean. It's called the delta area, because the river is like the wide, like the, this shape. Then the, it, the shape is like the delta, because the, such an area is very, very the fertilized. Why? You have the something agriculture or the plant, everything and flush it out from time to time. And the new, the soil cover that area. Okay, then you can do such a thing. So because of that, people, they don't have to the move around the, to find the, something to eat or the, the whatever. Instead, they can stay, settle down in such an area. Then the, that's the starting of what? They need, the, if more and more people the come together, they sometimes fighting each other. Right? So they need what? Government. So that is the reason the, why the most of the civilization, human civilization started from the such area. Then the that needs the government. So government uh, would like to control the such uh, the problem when the people. However, if you are uh, uh, moving around to find the aid or whatever, you don't need such a thing. But uh, once you get together, the unit is something the government, the government, but it's not free service. Instead, you need to pay to the government. That is tax. So, for example, the nine liver. So, how to collect the tax based on what? Property. Okay, which means how much the agriculture or the plant you got every year. What is the size of your land? What is the size of your tax? There, right? So because of that, uh, depending on the area size of your land, so the, uh, if the tax, you need to pay the this tax. Problem is, after flooding, this is my land, this is my land, so it's that, but after flooding, you cannot find. They fight every time each other. So government uh, invests a lot of money to the mathematician to decide the there is no clear boundary. There is no line the, in the land, right? But they, so you know the, which is my property, which is your property. And the, they, at that time, they didn't have the electronic devices so several thousand years ago. Instead, they try to, they can measure the direct line using whatever. <laughs> Sometimes crossing the river, they cannot do that. But they can use something, the, the landmark, like the big tree, or the the peak of the mountain, and the, their angle will not be changed. So it is the starting of the trigonometry. Okay? Then the, they develop the sine and cosine. So that area is from, that, the, such an approach is called geometry. So geometry is one of the ways to solve the natural problem. Another approach is, Later, not always you can measure and uh, compute the angle and the size. Instead, you can define or well, you can represent the human natural problem using equation. 
So using the equation, the, we can simplify the such a problem. You don't have to explain everything, the, what the huge line. So just give x plus y equal to 1 and x minus y equal to 0. Then the what is x, what is y? If, if you can make the such, you can make the equation from the human real problem, you can easily solve that problem. That approach is algebra. So always, if you, I'm not sure whether you realize that most of the uh, the curriculum in math is a take time. Geometry, then algebra, and geometry, and algebra. They are not totally different. Sometimes most of them are common problems. Their problems are the quite similar, but different approaches. So you need to know both the geometry and algebra. So algebra is from actually name of the whatever, the researcher, but it's uh, actually the represent something problem in the equation or mathematic notation. So similarly, the in our go back uh, coming back to our problem, so we define the our the main thing is the relational database model. Okay? We are going to use it. That is the most important part of the this class. Relational database model. How do we define the relational database model? What is the definition? We consider data as a similar type of data as a group. We simplify. Okay? So we simplify. Otherwise, it will be very complicated. We cannot take care of the each and every data. Okay? Just like the, when you see the something problem, the describe the two or three pages, very hard to understand. However, if you, somebody provides uh, x plus y equals 1, x minus y equals 0, you can easily solve the problem. So in our the definition of the modeling, we use uh, such a mathematic notation, specifically set theory, so group of data. Okay? Then, that is our definition. That is our model. So we define the something constraint, primary key, and the entity integrity constraint, or the foreign key, and the user defined, and the we have insert update. Then, finally, what is the main objective to design and build <coughs> such a relational data base? We wanna just uh, keep the database for your future, or sell to other. We wanna use that data. In other words, I wanna access the data. That's our goal. Okay. Then think about. I usually the use this example. So the design relational model, relational model database is like the building house. Okay. So using something outline like the ER diagram, we build a house. Then eventually. After you build a house, some of them are using the, such a designing and building house for architect, architecture or the, something artistic purpose. But mostly we'd like to live uh, that house. We'd like to use that house. Then you need to know how to access the entrance door, how to turn on the light, how to access the second floor, and so on. Manual, we 